Hi everyone, welcome to Get Ready With Me, Louise. I'm tired, but I'm here, so I'm excited because I just got home from work, so my makeup is a little worn, but we're going to ignore that because it is what it is, and it's not about this look anyway. What it is about is, is I got the new Glam Light, is it new? Mm, the Coca-Cola one, and I purchased the highlighter in the two palettes, so the Coke palette and the Cherry Coke palette. And I thought we would do, since I'm getting ready to take off my makeup, it's the best time to play. But I'm hoping it'll do okay trying to apply this over makeup I've already worn all day. So we'll give it a little bit of grace if it doesn't apply right because it's probably me. But what I will do is I am going to get a little bit of setting powder and we're going to retouch up the lids a little bit because I don't have any shadow on. Um didn't have time today you know it happens right so we are going to do that just to give it a little bit of a maybe smoother base to work with hopefully and that if any oils did come out like maybe this will kind of subdue that a little bit because it wouldn't be fair to the shadows i think they'll be fine i've never had a problem with glam light shadows so there is that um but I'm excited. It's been a while since I purchased something. Well, I mean, for me, it's been a while. But if we're going to play with the... I am wearing... So I bought the two palettes and the glow highlighter. Which you could live without. I'll be honest. It's like a white highlighter with a pinky twist to it. We've seen them time and time before. But the packaging is like a, a bottled Coke top. You know with the little ridges and stuff like adorable but this is the color so you can see that it looks white but then it's got like that pinky flip to it but like the packaging is so freaking cute so I got it but you don't not something you need I am wearing it it's okay for a blush I'm actually and I when I placed an order with Colourpop for the Bratz palette because I have it now too I purchased this uh, Super Shock Blush in Matte Growth Flirt, and it's really pretty. I'm wearing it today, too, and it lasted. So I'm, and it's a matte, but it's like a soft matte. I really, really like this. M much more than, like, the kind that's kind of got, like, a shimmer to it. I like that matte formula a lot. For bronzer, I'm wearing the Hourglass Bronzer out of the Elephant Palette. It is called Lustrous Bronze Light. So this one right here. And then the highlighter. For lips, I am wearing the Polite Society. That plumping lip gloss. And Kylie's uh, lip liner in coconut. I just applied that just now. So that hasn't been on all day. Cause, and I will say this Polite Society, it does plump and it burns. And you don't want to wear it every day because your lips will be irritated. Just letting you know ahead of time. For foundation today, I wore the CC Nude Glow. And then for concealer, I wore the Dior. And I set with the Lunar Beauty under the eyes and through the T-zone. And I set the rest of the face with the Natasha Denona Powder. So with that said let's get into this palette we're going to do one look with one one palette with on this we're going to do one palette one look on this eye the other palette the other look on this eye two videos because you ain't got time to sit here for 30 minutes and i can't seem to get videos up anymore and i want to so it's this is kind of how i've kind of come to the conclusion of doing it you know and it's working somewhat and I will say this is what the coke the palettes look like they come in a little thing and then like a coke dispenser type thing and you open it up like this I'm sure you all have seen videos on these these aren't that new so they are numbered one through eight I'm not a fan of that I like to see names but I don't know really what kind of names they could have gave it but would have been interesting to see but let's get started. So the first shade we're going to go into is this one right here. We're going to start. 
I also like the fact that this palette, you could just do two colors, like boom, 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 if you chose. So if you are, you know, trying to create a quick, quick look, it is possible. And again, I like Glam Lights Formula for the most part. Their mattes are always matte, easy to use, that sort of thing. It's really their metallics that kind of change from time to time, I guess is the best way to put it. I'm wearing the Tarte XL. Oh, the Tartlet XL 2B mascara. It's what I've been wearing to work because it just stays where it's supposed to because it's a 2B mascara for the most part, you know? It's a brown color. Alright, now we're going to go into the darker brown. I will say that this. I mean, I don't, you know, it's Coke. You got red, white, and then. I guess the color coke brown you know what I mean like I don't like I, the the color story kind of does fit the theme uh, but at the same time I mean it's kind of just a neutral palette it could be every day if you wanted it to be every day look I guess because of that red you could sort of amp it up you got the red and the black um I don't know if it goes light enough for me as far as like an inner corner. We shall see, but I do have the highlighter from the collection, so that's something. But you got highlighters, you know, in your arsenal, I'm sure. I'm curious on how popular this launch really was, to be fair. And it's not like I don't like it because I do. It's, I mean, I do like it. Like, I think it's a cute little collection. It's just, was it needed? I don't know. That's where I'm kind of at with it. Was it needed? We are going to take this shade right here now and put it on the lid. Yeah, I don't think this is going to go light enough for me. I mean, this is going to give me just a neutral look. And again, I love... Glam Lights Metallics. They are just gorgeous. They really are. When they do it right, they do it right. And this is one that they've done right. And I actually like that. I wonder if that could be like a one and done even. That is really pretty. I like that a lot. All right, let's go into this shade. I don't know if it's going to be light enough, so we're going to see. And we're going to apply it to the inner corner. Yeah. It's light enough. I don't know if it's necessarily what I was wanting. But it is light enough, so I'll give it that. That's. So it is an all-in-one palette, or it could be. If this is the route you chose to go. Okay, that's pretty. Now, technically, if I was going to finish this look, I would run the brown on the lower lash line, you know, but I want to try the red just to see what it looks like and to see what it does, you know. So we're going to pick up the red and we're going to run it under the lower lash line. I'm curious about how red it is. Oh, it's red. Okay. We got red. Well. Again, it's more like a... I don't know. I guess it's red. In the... It's not too much of one way or the other. It's just, you know, like a red crayon. I'm curious though if it would make me look like I was sick no and it actually don't go too bad with that brown especially if like I line the lower lash line with the brown I think it would look okay
You would have to be careful though because I do feel like it would, if you took it down too low, it would make it look like you were sick. It's not a bad red. I don't mind that. Interesting. Let's take the black that's in here. It's a black with little sparkles. And let's line it and see what happens here. nice black it's pigmented I'm not really seeing the sparkles obviously definitely definitely pigmented though but it can be blended out so that's a plus do I want to stamp the lash line maybe a little bit it's hard for me to do this once I have the mascara on But we're just gonna try. We're just playing. Day is over. We're not going anywhere. We're not doing anything. So if it turns out a mess, it doesn't matter. Oh yeah, this is a nice black though. I will give it that. It is a nice black. And I just, like I said, I stamped that in there. Let's take that red now and go back under that lower lash line. I just want to see. I just want to play. I haven't been able to play in so long. Oh, I think that red and black would be really pretty together, actually. If you're not scared of it. For me... If I was playing, I would do the red and the black, I won't lie, but to be fair, it would almost be like this top look, you know what I mean? I would use the black to line with maybe, but it would mostly be the browns for sure, for, for you know, just personal, but I think that it could definitely be fun, it's a fun palette. Is it something you need now? I don't think it's something you need. I don't even think it's something that, like, you're going to even think about, to be honest. I'm not going to lie. You're not even going to think about these, really. Unless you're, like, an avid Coke drinker, then maybe. But it is a pretty palette, nonetheless. I'm glad I have it because I really do like Lamlight and I like to support it. But, you know, sometimes you have to pick and choose. And if... I would say pass on this one. I just would. They have so many palettes that are so good. There's no need to settle. You know? But I do think it is pretty. Nonetheless, it is a pretty look. You know? And the colors blend it well, so. Overall, I like it. It's cute. But I don't think it's a 100% necessity, you know? So, that is all I have for you today. I hope you enjoyed this. I hope I helped in some way. Um, this one will go up first. And then the next one will be the Cherry Coke. So, and then I will try to get these ColourPop palettes done. I have no idea when, but it may be like this. Because I'm only going to get a couple days off. So, I kind of have to make the most out of what I got, you know? But, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe, ring the bell, hit all. That way you're notified when I do upload and I will see you in the next one. Until then, stay safe and stay healthy. Bye.